here we have a Cincinnati Toolmaster 1AB vertical milling machine with an integrated lubricant system. The system for years has an output shaft in the pump which works but was never actually hooked up. The output shaft comes out of the pedestal here and the pump is below in the rear that runs uh, pressure from the sump like a sump pump. What I've done is I've put in a lubricant system that seems to be working. From the output I have a 90 and a T. This line goes down and wraps around here down to my sump with the weight on it and that is a bypass so that any overpressure from the system will output down to the sump pit and ensures that my motor uh, hopefully doesn't burn out because if the motor does not have a replacement. I have a filter here which is currently set at uh, 10 micron or 5 microns but it's a water filter. Uh, it's a little slow but it's helping to stop many chips from getting into the system. Uh, a lot of the fines since I do anywhere from stainless to soft aluminum I want to make sure I get all those chips out so I'm not constantly recutting them with the bits that they're not made for. Uh, the line that I used is a braided rubber jacketed 300 psi air hose. Comes up, we're just have it tied off and goes to this magnetic manifold. Um, actually works out very well. Um, I don't use it as a manifold but just having the mounting option here works really really well and on my lubricant line to the discharge nozzle I'm going to turn it on and show the rate of flow once it purges all the air through the system since it doesn't have a check valve what I can actually do is close my bypass and I'll get some air spurting through and eventually start flowing See here, all the lubricant that's on the plate is getting a little bit filtered by the filter. It's, it was pretty black when I was uh, testing the pump before, and now it's a little bit more of a brown-red color. The chips that are all here were already there. The, I have noticed in the past the pump does take some time to build up the head pressure and actually start flowing. I had the valve closed. The valve up there. Silly mistake. Alright, there we go. Got some fluid flowing. It's not a very high velocity at a small nozzle size. It's actually the medium nozzle size for the uh, lock line system. If I close my bypass line all the way, that is now running approximately full pressure and volume of its capacity in this configuration. As I start to open up my coolant line slowly probably about a, a quarter of a quarter it's probably half of a quarter turn open so about 50% capacity of the valve not much flow it's probably about 60% capacity of the quarter turn valve that's a pretty good flow and uh, that's it just a real simple system I didn't secure the filter at all, that's probably one of the next projects. This is a, a cast iron base, so drilling and tapping into it is a little bit of a challenge and I don't want to mess it up. And the output looks like it was originally, uh, this is a quarter inch NPT adapter to eighth inch. Looks like the output is actually possibly originally a quarter inch output, quarter NPT output. However, that might be an adapter that goes to the the fluid line that's in the pedestal and I didn't want to take it off so I just dealt with what was there already. So everything was purchased via McMaster car. This I just had in stock and magnetic base very happy with it worked out very well. That's it. Coolant system for Cincinnati Toolmaster 1AB. Thanks for watching.